Welcome back class. This is Mr. Vargas and I am here to introduce you to our next Scratch project. So this week's Scratch project is going to be called the Alphabet Game. And the main goal for this week is I want you to learn two new things. Those things are costumes. I want you to know what costumes are and a little bit about how to use them. And the other thing is extensions. So these are extra features you can add to your project and we're going to add one to this project. We're going to add the text to speech. Right here I have my requirements. These will be in the Google Classroom and I will go back to these uh, as I work on this but I'm going to jump into the project first because I think these will make more sense when you see them in action. So um, let's go create and before I forget let's call this the alphabet game and you, you are going to have 10 letters. They can be any letters you want. They don't have to be in order. So I'm going to just get rid of this cat guy and I'm going to throw in, so I'm going to go choose a sprite. We're going to go to letters and there are different kind, different styles of letters. I'm, I'll just go with the kind of the first one, but you can feel free to try a different one. All right. So we have the uh, letter A. Let me rename this instead of block A. We'll call it letter A. And all objects have something called the costume. So I'm going to go to costumes. And these are all the different possible images or animations that this object can change into. So right now we just have one for the letter A. I'm going to add another costume. So down here you can click choose a costume. You can take your, a picture. You can upload images. Um, I, you can draw your own. That would be kind of cool for this project. If you guys want to, you know, feel artistic and you want to draw your own costumes. Um, and this will give you some more flexibility like you could do the um, like video games and do like M is for Mario and draw an arm a Mario picture or upload a Mario picture But you know what I'm gonna be just for the purposes of this demo I'm just gonna click on the one in the bottom and this allows you to choose uh, any of the built-in um, scratch images and You can search or you can go by category Now for this project. I really would like it if you guys stuck to a theme so instead of ten random items um, you know, like sports or school or, you know, fantasy, I think it would uh, just make the project more cohesive if you stuck to a theme and I'll just go with food. So A is for Apple, right? So we have, so now this letter A object has two costumes. One is this one. One is this one. Notice how it changes over here when you select a different costume. So you can add a whole bunch of costumes and then just select which one you want it to start out with. So now I'm going to go to code. And what I want to happen is when you click on, well, actually, let me get rid of that. Not when you click on the green flag, when you, when this sprite is clicked. So when you click on the A sprite, I want it to change costumes. I want it to talk. So to switch costumes, we go to look and over here, switch costume. And it takes a guess. It guesses that I want Apple because we're currently on block A and, and that's actually a good guess. We do want it to switch to Apple. So when the spread is clicked, we want it to switch to Apple. Then we want it to talk. Okay. I don't want it. To, don't, and that doesn't mean you say because say doesn't talk. Say just makes a word bubble pop up. That's not what I want. I don't want a word bubble to pop up. Notice that when I just ran this code right now, it's what it switched to the Apple Sprite and now it's just on the Apple Sprite. You know, that's something we're going to have to fix, but I'm going to go back to costumes and set it back to A. And I'll tell you how to fix that whole little issue with the turning into an Apple and not changing back. So um, when the Sprite is clicked, we're going to switch to Apple and then we want it to talk. Now, if you look through all these blocks, you're not going to find anything that actually talks. But if you look down here, there we have a blue block. It's this is the add extension block. So these are extra things, extra functionality that can be added into um, into Scratch. And this is gonna allow um, Scratch, MIT, I guess, the company that the school that works on Scratch, the team that works on Scratch, is gonna allow them to partner with other companies to add extra stuff into Scratch. And we're gonna use the text to speech block. And if you notice, this requires the internet for this for to work. And this is collaboration with Amazon Web Services. So they're using Amazon's um, text to speech technology. So once you add that block, notice we have a new category. 
And then we have some new, now we have a new set of blocks that we can use in our project. So we're going to use this speak block and we're going to have it say A is for Apple. And we can hit the green flag. Actually, why, why do I keep doing that? No, you don't hit the green flag, you click on it. A is for Apple. So right there you hear it talk. A, A is for Apple. A is for Apple. Um, and once it talks, we want to, we want it to switch it back to the other costume, back to the letter A. So block A. So now, um, when you hit the, I keep on doing the flag. When you click A on this, for Apple. it switches back to the A. A is for Apple. Now, you, if you want, you can put a little wait here. If you want it to wait another second. A is for Apple. But that's fine for me. So we want it to do, so now let's look at the requirements. You're gonna have 10 letters. Each letter changes into an object. Works with mouse click or typing. So not only do I want it to do this when I click on it, but if the person types A, I also want it to do this little routine. So that's actually pretty easy. So we go to events and we do when space key press and we're gonna change that from space to A. So when A is pressed, we want it to do all this. So you can actually just right click, duplicate, and then clip it right in there. And that's it. So now when we run this program, A is for Apple. you can press A or you can click. A is for Apple. And so that's pretty much it. I want you, um, oh, another thing. And in fact, I should add this to the extensions. I also, I just, I think it looks nicer with a background. So add a background. So, and if you guys forgot how to do that, you know, go, you can go over here and select the background. I just think that the white background is kind of boring. So, a is for Apple. you're going to add 10 letters and pick a theme. And the letters do not have to be consecutive starting at A. They could be any 10 letters. And I want each letter to react to both being clicked on and also uh, for when you press a key. Don't forget to use the extension over here, the text-to-speech extension, and um, and that's it. So it's a pretty simple project, but I think uh, both of these concepts that I talked about, extensions and, you know, especially the text-to-speech one as in costumes, I think will come in handy for when we get to our final project in this class. So good luck and um, have fun.